Hi friends, in this lecture we will study about how to find out the general solution of a linear differential equation. Now in this lecture we will study about how to find the PI by using shortcut methods. Already we studied about general method. So in case of shortcut methods, first method is if q of x equal to e raised to x exponential function then how to find out the p a so p a equal to generally 1 upon f of d into q of x so in this case q of x is e raised to a x so in this method simply we are replacing d with coefficient of x so what is the coefficient of x x coefficient is e. simply you have to put d equal to e when if f of a is not equal to 0 that means if denominator is not equal to 0 simply we are replacing d with x coefficient a if f of a equal to 0 what to do in case of f of a equal to 0 simply we are differentiating this f of d with respect to capital d after that we are replacing d with x coefficient a and if you are differentiating once means you have to multiply this fraction with x so that means x into 1 upon f dash of a e raised to x when if f of a is not equal to 0 again if f of a and f dash of a both are 0 then again we have to differentiate this f dash of a with respect to capital D that means if you are differentiating f dash of d with d means we will get f double dash of d and replacing this d with a. So again we are differentiating means we are multiplying this x with again x that is x square into 1 upon f double dash of a into e raised to x. If it is 0 again we are continuing the same process until the denominator is not equal to 0. See this. Suppose 1 upon d plus 1 into e raised to x. So simply first case we are replacing d with x coefficient. So x coefficient is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So denominator is not equal to 0 means. So this is the solution. See second case 1 upon d square minus 1 e raised to x. So Generally, we are replacing d with x coefficient. x coefficient is 1. So, 1 square is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, denominator is 0 means we are differentiating this d square minus 1 with respect to capital D. So, d square derivative is 2d. One time if we are differentiated means we are multiplying this with x. Now, we have to check whether the denominator is 0 or not. So again we are replacing this d with x coefficient. x coefficient is 1. So 2 into 1 is 2. So 2 is not equal to 0. 0. Therefore this is the solution. Like that we have to continue this process until denominator is not equal to 0. See one example. Uh, before that see this mode. So in case of e raised to ax e raised to x means we are replaced d with x coefficient. So if a raised to x that means base is constant that like 3 raised to x or 2 raised to x. So in case of that simply we are replacing d with a. So suppose in this example a value is 3. So that means we are replacing this d with log 3. When if the denominator is not equal to 0. If denominator is 0, we are continuing the process. Any method, if the denominator is 0, simply we are differentiating. So, suppose only if free constant term is there, 2, 3, 4, like that. On that case, simply we are replacing d with 0. So, first case is in case of e raised to a x. So, in case of e raised to x, we are replace it d with x coefficient in case of a rise to x so a rise to x means we are replacing d with log a so third case is only free constant term 
replacing d with 0 when denominator is not equal to 0. If again denominator is 0 means we are continuing the same process. See one example. Solve d cube minus 5 d square plus 8d minus 4 of y equal to 4 e raise to 2x plus 2 raise to x plus 3. So write down the auxiliary equation that is we are equating this f of d to 0 that is m cube minus 5m square plus 8m minus 4 equal to 0. So we are solving the roots of this equation you can find out by using calculus, scientific calculator also otherwise we have to check for what value of this LHS is 0. So suppose I will check for f of 1 fair put m m equal to 1. So, 1 cube 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4. So, this is 0. That means 1 is 1 root. Now, how to find out the remaining roots? Further, for that, write down all the coefficients of this equation. So, m cube coefficient 1 minus 5, 8 and 4. So, always put here 0. For 1, this function value will be 0 means, so we have to write here 1. So, adding these two, 1 plus 0, 1, multiplying this, 1 into 1, 1. So, again adding this, minus 5 plus 1, that is minus 4. Again multiplying these two, 1 into minus 4, minus 4. Again adding these two, 8 minus 4, 4. Again we are multiplying this, 1 into 4, 4. So, our solution is correct, then always this last term will be 0. Now we are reducing this power here 3 means we have to this is the coefficient of m square. So this is the coefficient of m and this is constant. That means now it become a quadratic equation m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Now we can solve by quadratic equation roots minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So we will get the roots are. 2 1 2 so therefore two roots are equal so one is an equal root so we are using the complementary condition so c1 e raised to x plus c2 plus c3x into e raised to 2x now find pi so pi equal to 1 upon f of d d cube plus 5 d square plus 8 d minus 4 into q of x that is 4 e raised to 2 x plus 2 raised to x plus 3. Now separate this. So this into this, this into this and this into this. Now in case of e raised to 2 x we have to replace d with x coefficient. So without substituting also once you can check it. If this coefficient of x and if any one of the root are equal so the denominator is always 0. So here 2 is repeated 2 times means so we have to differentiate this function 2 times because if you are substituting 2 times up to 2 times this value will be 0. So whenever the x sorry exponential function e raised to 2x x coefficient is and any one of the root are equal so the de denominator must be 0. So that's why here m is repeated, m equal to 2 is repeated 2 times means you have to differentiate this 2 times. So first if you are differentiating you will get 3 d square plus 10 d see here minus is there. So write this value is minus sorry. So this is 3 d square minus 10 d plus 8. Again if you are differentiating 6 d minus 10 this is 0. Now we have to put d equal to 2. So 6 into 2 12 minus 10 so that is we will get 2 so 2 in this 2 times so therefore we will get 
टू एक्स स्क्वेर ए रईज टू टू एक्स फॉर द सैकंड वन सो इट इज इन द फॉर्म आफ ए रईज टू एक्स इन केस आफ ए रईज टू एक्स सिंप्ली वर् रीप्लेसिंग डी वित् लाग ए ए वैल्यू इज टू सो यू हेव टू रीप्लेस लाग टू होल क्यू मैनस फाइव लाग टू स्क्वेर प्लस एट लाग टू मैनस फोर so here free constant term in case of free constant term simply we are replacing d with 0 so d 0 0 0 here minus 4 therefore minus 3 by 4 so therefore general solution is what is general solution cf plus pi so you have to write the value of cf and pi see one more problem solve the dq plus 3d of y equal to cos h to x sin h to x so auxiliary equation is m cube plus 3m equal to 0 so first of all you have to take here m common m square plus 3 equal to 0 that means m equal to 0 and m square equal to how much will get Minus three. That means m equal to root minus three. So root minus three means root three plus r minus root three i. So it is an imaginary root. So in case of only plus r minus beta, I given that formula. One check it. So c one cos beta x plus c two sin beta x. Beta value is root three. So c1 e raised to zero. That is one c1 plus c2 cos root 3x plus c3 sine root 3x. So for pi one upon f of d d cube plus 3d. So cos h2x sine h3x. So it is a hyperbolic function. Cos h2x value is e raised to 2x plus e raised to minus 2x upon 2 sine h3x value is e raised to 3x minus e raised to minus 3x by 2. So you have to multiply this. So one by four into we will get this e raised to five x minus e raised to minus five x plus e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. So separate this this into this. So one by four is common. Multiplying all the terms and replacing d with here five, here minus five, here one, and here minus one. So if you are replacing d cube, five cube. 125 plus 3 into 515. Maybe that is 140. So similarly, second one and the third one. So if you are multiplying this, you will get a 140 into 4, 560. So 560 can be write as 280 into 2. So write down the 280 here outside and 2 inside. Because again we are converting in hyperbolic form. Again here also if we are multiplying here four into four sixteen, so that can be write as eight into two. Again it is in the form converted in cos h five x plus this is cos h x. So this is C P A. Therefore general solution is what is general solution? C F plus P A. We have to write the value of. pi and cf 